What's going on, everybody? Rashad, top three, the branch, right here. And I wanted to just say something to you all. First, I wanted to apologize uh, for the fact that we had to cancel the show yesterday. We appreciate so many people wanted to come out, and we thank you. The problem is, is that you have to buy the tickets ahead of time. So usually what we do is we wait until the day before, the day of, and then we, you know, get the tickets, which is fine. You know, I, I, I get it. But next time when we put something out, everybody, we need y'all. When you hit like and you say, I'm interested in going, you know, ahead of time, we need you to go ahead and lock down and buy the ticket. We need you to commit. Okay, you know, it's something, you know, with this culture these days, it's kind of, it makes it easier for us not to commit, you know what I'm saying? Because just because we like something doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to do it. So we need you to commit and do that, okay, next time, okay? So I wanted to say that and say we do have another show coming up later, but we need y'all to do that for us, okay? Now, you don't mind, just give me a couple minutes. I just want to say one other thing and then I'm done, Okay. Uh, I know a lot of people are posting a lot about what uh, Jesse Williams did at the BET Awards, which I think is amazing. And I just love how we see so many uh, people posting about something that's so encouraging, so affirming, and so on time. I want to talk about the Internet for a moment. Have you all, you all noticing what is really happening? The Internet itself is younger than hip-hop. Right. It's funny to say that the Internet is younger than hip hop. Hip hop's over 40 years old and, you know, the Internet is coming up behind that. And the Internet, it has not removed racism and sexism. It has not done that. But what the Internet has done is those things that were used to keep us apart can actually be used to bring us together. Furthermore, those things that were used to, in some ways, marginalize people or demean an individual can be used to elevate a person. I think about it. When I was growing up, to be a big person or fat, as they say, wasn't cool, right? Think about now. Think about the modeling industry in particular. Now, it's good to be plus size, which I do think that it is, but now you have plus size models. You see, so what I'm saying is that the Internet has made it so that thing that makes you, you, you can actually use it and make yourself marketable or dope or cool. So I put it this way. The thing that made you strange can actually make you cool. The thing that made you weird is the thing that makes you dope. And the thing that makes you unique is the thing that actually probably makes you marketable. So what I'm saying is everybody... Turn around, look internally, all right? You know you're really successful when you don't need the external stimuli to affect how you feel, but it's all coming from the inside, okay? Embrace yourself. Let's do this. Let's put ourselves out there because the internet is making it so that we can. So don't think of yourself as something's wrong with you or whatever. Hey, that thing that doesn't fit in with the popular people, guess what? That's that thing that's going to help you make your space in humanity. Thanks.